Welcome to this look at a new map to console on FS19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Welcome to Ellerbach. This is a new map to console. This has been on PC for a little while, but it is new to console. This is a map by Moose Agra. It's set in Bavaria, southern Germany. It is seasons ready, and it will use up 445.9 of your megabytes um, to download. It's a fair sized map. Um, and it's an interesting one. I've I've been to um, Erlangen, where Giant's uh, main office is in Germany, which is Bavaria, and was lucky enough to be taken out around the countryside, and it reminds me very much of that. And there were a couple of bits, as I went around had a quick look earlier, that remind me of The Great Escape. Um, you know, the bit with Steve McQueen, that kind of, it reminds me of that. Um, let's have a look at the map. So, we start off just here in the middle, kind of in the middle. It's quite built up here, there's a couple of little towns and, you know, things going on. It's, it's made up of three towns, I think, primarily, um, according to the Mods Hub. Now, my first impressions with this are, this is a multiplayer map. 100% a multiplayer map. And there are some peculiarities with it, which you're going to have to kind of get your head around. Um, we have got a few cell points. We've got Agri, uh, Agri LB, we've got Bohoff, Hamel, we've got em Emma's, Emma's, Emma Strickladen, Heiswerk, <laughs> Oberellerbach, uh, Ledley, and Mueller Agra. Now, Agri LB and Mueller Agra are your main cell points for most of your crop types. And as we go across, you'll see that um, Emma's uh, Strickladen will do your wool and. Did it say cotton? No, there's no cotton on it. Ooh, ooh, that's an interesting one. Okie dokie. Um, the uh, Heiswerk uh, Oberellerbach will do wood chips and it will do your um, silage, hay and straw, as will Biohoff Hamel, but Biohoff Hamel won't do wood chips. So the Heiswerk Oberellerbach is one which I think is the sawmill as well. There's a cell point there for the sawmill. Anyway, uh, Mueller Agra does your... Um, milk and most other stuff and then Ledley will do your eggs and milk so there's a there's a few kind of mix up bits now there are no extra crop types in with this on console um contracts are available um modded extras there's one modded cow stall or cow shed um which is extra we'll have a look at that in a moment downside i'll be honest the slot count on new farmer, farm manager, and start from scratch is identical. It's 954 out of 1,299, which only leaves you 345 slots to play around with. Now, if you decide to sell every piece of machinery that you've got, it drops it down to 763 slots out of, 500, uh, out of 1,299, which gives you 536 to play with. That's still not a lot of slots to buy all of your machinery and everything. Now, don't get me wrong. On the 954 out of 1299, you do start with a lot of machinery whereby you can run a farm. You could do it absolutely with everything you start with. But I know most people want, you know, they want to pick their favourite vehicles, tractors, they might want to go down a particular route. So that is a slight drawback. The other thing I want to point out at this point is when we click on what do we start with, on New Farmer, we don't actually start with a farm. <laughs> We've got all the machinery, don't start with the farm. We start with field 128 and 132. On farm manager and start from scratch, you don't even start with those. Okay, so we don't even start with a farm. And here's the other problem. Because I think it's set up for, for multiplayer, and it is, down the side here, We've got Hof Wolf, which is the main farm where you've got all your machinery. Hof Streber, Hof Langer, Hof Moens, Hof Sauer, Hof Meyer, and Hof Katzenthal. Now they're all color coded with these little markers. Each one of those is a separate farm. And all of them say animal dealer. Until you buy them, it doesn't say what animals are at them. Now I have been round and I have done this already, so I do know what's at them. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drop off, I'm going to put some money in. That's going to take a little while because I'm going to have to place some government subsidy signs and run through a little bit more time. Um, and what I'm going to do is buy each one and we'll see what animals you can have at them if you buy them. As far as prices go, prices for fields aren't too bad. 91 grand for that one there. B 
big grass field there for 153 79 i mean they aren't massive fields this you know when you drive around um in bavaria in the bavarian countryside it is made up of a patchwork of small fields it's, it's i in the driving around i did and i didn't by any means go across all of bavaria i didn't see many large fields all interspar interspersed with forests and you know it's it's lovely it's a lovely lovely area so um so field prices aren't too bad now this has three biogas plants it has one at your main farm which says bga Meyer, just there if i click on that one that's 400,000 to buy that little BGA at your main farm. No, that's not your main farm. Your main farm's here. Wrong one. Sorry, that's one of them. The one at your main farm, BGA Wolf, which is just there, is 205,000 to buy. So there's a little biogas plant at your main farm, if you choose that to be your main farm. I'm just saying that because that's where all the machinery is and that's where your house is to sleep through the night. And then you've got BGA um, Bakken down here. Now this one's a bit of a... <gasps> Get ready. 1,125,888. Oh, bit pricey, that one. Um, so they're a bit pricey. As far as farms go, this one here, which is um, Hof Stra Straber, Straber, is 152 grand. Hof Wolf, 219 grand. Um, Hof Meyer, I think that was, or is that Hof Langer? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that's Hof Meyer, 153 grand. Uh, what else have we got? <laughs> that I think is that's actually that that is actually the animal dealer that one there. Uh, we've got Hof Katzenthal, 181 grand. Hof Mwens, 167 grand. Then up here, no, hang on, that wasn't Hof Mwens, was it? No, that was Hof Langer. Oh blimey, Hof Mwens is up there, <laughs> 120 grand. And then lastly, Hof Sauer up there which is 121 grand so the actual farms to buy aren't that expensive and that's why i'm saying i think this is aimed more at multiplayer now to be fair if you were going to do a let's play on this you could have all the farms set up and you could have a storyline running with multiple farms multiple farmers you know it would be quite cool to do the downside is because of the high slot count you wouldn't be able to have lots of machinery set out at each of the farms it just wouldn't work um, so yeah, the, there are kind of pros and cons either way. Anyway, now this is supposed to be a map tour, so well, we'll call it a first look, but you know, a map tour nonetheless. I will see you in a moment when I've got some money in. I'll buy all of those, and so we can see what animals are at each one, and then let's get around the map and have a look at the lovely countryside. Okay, money's in. Properties have been bought. Quick check back into the map, and let's have a look. Uh, one thing also to point out at this point in time um the store is not marked on the map hmm we'll come to that in a little while anyway so this one down here is hof straber is it oh, i'll get there in a minute hof straber is pigs we've got two pig enclosures and chickens our main farm hof wolf where all the um, machinery is is cows and chickens come across there to hof meyer we've got cows and chickens come across to hof katzenthal we've got cows and chickens come across here to hof langer cows and chickens um it's very dairy orientated or cow orientated and that's why i think it's more and when i say multiplayer as well i mean multiplayer and probably pc because of the high slot count if you're going to run multiplayer with lots of people all with separate farms like i say, i just think you would struggle to run this and and you have to buy those properties to be able to see what animal types it's letting you have on them you also won't be able to use them unless you own them you won't be able to buy animals feed them do anything else with them if we come up to the top here we've got pigs and chickens and over here we've got sheep the sheep are right at the top they are represented i haven't come across a horse stable interestingly so that may be one you'd have to place just trying to think certainly haven't seen one anyway let's get on with it so what i'm going to do is leave here and this is where we start pretty much in the middle of the map right by this church i'm going to head right and we're going to go to ledley we're going to do a route round and take in uh try and take in all the sale points and at least go past i think most of the farms if not all of them so ledley sell point is just here and just checking back in every now and again onto the the uh the payment screen or the the shop screen 
you can just remind yourself very quickly what they sell at each one you know by going down to whichever one it is you don't have to go down to whichever one it is and scroll backwards and forwards you can see what we can sell there that's the eggs and milk at Ledley um, that's just here if we go out of here and then I'm just looking at my little map down the bottom uh, was it right here I think it was, yes, right here. <laughs> Fire station, just under there, on the left there. The detail of the map is phenomenal. I, you can see why it's such a high slot count. The attention to detail, what's on here, the amount of small fields. You know, I suppose if you took out a lot of those farms and didn't have all the cow and, and, and chickens and took all a load of that out, you could probably bring the slot count right down. But the point is the map has been brought over from PC two consoles that kind of look this is it this is the map this is what you get uh i've probably gone too far and missed them i missed them no i'll get to later on next cell point is just here tucked around behind this house which is emma strickladen so we've left the church here we've gone up past ledley and now we've gone across here so we're now heading east we're going to head to the main farm pick up the pickup and then we'll head round. Um, while we're on that topic, topic, when we get there, we'll have a look at what machinery we start with, because we do start with a fair bit. So, leaving here, going up over the top to the main farm, or what I'm saying is the main farm, like I say, simply because that's where all the equipment is. This is the bit that when I kind of got to here, I looked out and thought, whoa, that's just, that is very, very great escape. I just, the sweep of the hills and, I don't know, there's little churches dotted around and I, I, I love it I think it's a brilliant brilliant map because I like the countryside I like the style of it this is not a big machinery map I mean there aren't a lot of hedges or fences or things that are going to get in the way but the roads are narrow and getting through the towns and villages and stuff is going to be a struggle if you're going to try and use big machinery so here we are at the main farm uh, there's a couple of bits of equipment tucked around the back here in this shed got three bunker silos these two i like these ones you can tip in from the back um i just think it's a it's a neat little idea and i like the kind of multi-leveled farm layout i think it's really cool um so this is the biogas plant that you've got at your main farm that you can buy for 200 was it 220 i said i think it was or 205 i think it was 205,000. so you can run biogas from your main farm if you want to buy it which again means you haven't got to go too far and if you've got your bunker silos right here it kind of makes it pretty handy um so we've got around the sides here we've got a few more bits of machinery tucked into this shelter here we have got in here a load more all tucked in there in this one we've got our harvesters harvesters harvester now interestingly and i've got to find it right we've got this here now i'm assuming this is i don't know if that's the workshop there's no workshop disc it looks like a silo that's a good point actually we haven't got a silo have we I'm just thinking oh yeah it does say we've got a capacity where's the farm oh am i looking am i right on the farm side oh, i bet i am aren't i no universal bucket that's not it hmm so where do you get the stuff out if that is the silo but that's going to be really awkward to get to and tip into isn't it or is that a buy point for something? That's normally a buy point. I can't find the silo. It's a weird one. Okay, well, it's about somewhere. A couple of trailers there. So first of our cow stalls. Bifold door, which I can't get. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, can't get the bottom one to open. That's jolly helpful. Feed mix. So let's say you you start with so much equipment. Another reason why the slot count starts up quite high. There we go. Because we've bought this now, click on there. Our buy point for cows at this particular farm is just there. Um, the whole feed trough thing, because we've got so many animal pens dotted around this map, so many of them, various different shapes and sizes and, you know, finding the feed troughs um i think the milk is collected here and that is a think um straw and feed will go inside i think along the trough which will be either that side or this side um 
manure is, I think the bunker was around the side, and obviously the slurry pits are the ground level round ones, which we kind of had a look at through here. Let's open that up. Ah, oh, there we go, there's the workshop. Every single one of these farms you buy has got a workshop. That's probably another reason why the slot count's fairly high. Every single one has got a workshop. So in one of the buildings at each of those farms, they do have a workshop. The slurry pit is through here on the ground. Just here, submerged, as it were. So now's a good point, probably, to look at the machinery. So, go to garage. What do we start with? Let's go right way back. We've got a new Holland T5, 100. We've got a Steyr Profi. We've got the TX32 Harvester. We've got a pickup. A couple of the Agro Liner HKD302 uh, trailers. Header for the uh, TX32. We've got a cultivator. We've got a slurry spreader. We've got a rear side mower. We've got a tedder. We've got a windrower. Um, we've got a loading wagon, baler, feed mixer, silage leveler, front loader equipment. We've got the War Z. Um, bale shredder with forks that come with it, bale uh, header trailer, some weights, and a uh, car, wa uh, car wash, jet washer. So we've got a fair bit of equipment. Like I say, another reason why the slot count is fairly up there. Could you get away with starting your farm off without some of this stuff? Probably, and then get it as you go along. But the slot count is going to ramp up fairly quickly, um, in all honesty. So the, like I say, the rest of the stuff, there's nothing modded or extra in here. Apart from under animal pens, there is one further along, which is that one there. The coo stool, the cow stool, cow bum. 300,000 for 100 cows. It's quite pricey. Um, and you'd need a nice bit of flat land to actually place that. So, I'm going to go and grab the pickup. Let's see if we can get around some of this map. Are we going to get around all of it? Mm, I'm not sure. Pickup's parked in there. Your house is just here to sleep through the night. That's why I'm referring to this as the main farm. Hof Wolf or Wolf, however you want to say it. Into the pickup and let's get going. So we're going to try and get round. I'm trying to think the route we're going to go here. Let's come out of here. Now, around the back, I've got to work out how to get to it because I did it on foot before. Are the pigs. If we go around there. So this is the next of the farms, and this has got pigs at it. Nope, wasn't that way. <laughs> anyway, we can get to it by road at some point. I think I've just missed the turning. So anyway, yes, this is one of the farms that's got two pig enclosures, and they are all slightly different. One is there. If we come just inside the doorway and click L3, you've got your point there for putting pigs inside that one. Slurry tank there, slurry tank here. The other one is just here, and we can buy pigs just there. So we've got two pig enclosures here. Manure will appear here, and they kind of come into the stall here. It's not very big, but that's one of the farms, and like I say, in pretty much every single case, I won't show you all of them. Uh, there we go. We've got a workshop in every single farm. They've got their own separate workshop. Oh, jet wash doesn't work. It's just there for show, that one. Okay, then. Let's crack on. What I'm going to do is have a quick look at the map and work out the route round I was going to go because I want to try and do a loop round and show everything if I can. Yeah. So we'll continue up here. Then we'll take a right. And I think part of this as well, I'm not going to be able to drive around the entire map. Absolutely not. But we can kind of get a bit of a feel for what it looks like. It's got some nice sweeping countryside. Is there the ability to be able to plough fields together? In some cases, yes. You have got some fields that are fenced in, some aren't. So, I don't know. I, it's got, I, I think it has a really lovely kind of natural feel to it. So we are heading kind of south now. There's a fair bit of forestry to do as well, if you want to do forestry. So this is the expensive biogas pl plant. This is the 1.125 million biogas plant. Just here. Just wondering whether this has got a workshop as well. Very important to have workshops, apparently. <laughs> Everyone must have a workshop. Nope. 
So, a couple of big bunker silos there. I'm just thinking, if you've got the biogas plant at your main farm, other than the fact that when you buy them, um, they're going to come up on the menu and you might get a bit of competition having all three, potentially, with prices fluctuating. Do you really need to have all buy all three? But again, if you are going to do some multiplayer, and if you were doing it on PC, having multiple biogas plants might be a cool way of running it. Right, I'm not going to carry on south. It's more fields. It goes off to the edge of the map which is just off there the tree line right on this sort of horizon there uh, this one here check on the map so Biohof Hamel which is a cell point is just there that's through here kind of like a barn cell point there we go there we go for bales etc it's just there they're tucked around all over the place I'm, I'm likely to miss something I'm, I'm sure I will now I've got to remember <laughs> I had a quick quiz round I'm trying to think uh, I think it was left then right if I recall correctly left and then first right there are little ponds dotted around the place I don't know, I mean to be fair I'm doing a let's play in Geiselsberg at the moment and Geiselsberg is exactly the same very high slot count but I'm doing it, I'm making it work I'm, I'm leasing equipment rather than buying loads and leasing what I need when I need it so that I don't I mean, I'm, I'm running peris, perilously close to that limit but you don't have to buy everything um, and you and as well with leasing you can try out more stuff because then you're not fixed with a particular piece of equipment that you've bought and think oh yeah, I wasn't sure if I wanted that right turning just in here we've got the next of our biogas plants and another farm this one is this one Straber <laughs> let's have a look on the map oh dearie me we are here. I think it's Straber, isn't it? No, Maya, of course it is. That's Maya. Straber, we did. Stra <laughs> Straber's the one with the pigs. Maya. It's just there. Sorry, I've, I'm not used to there being so many separate farms themselves. Although that still says animal dealer. Is there a bit there that hasn't been bought? Oh, hang on. That's weird then. That's the biogas bit, isn't it? Let's buy it and see what it what happens. Hmm, still saying animal dealer. Odd. So if this isn't an animal dealer, is it? This is cows, I'm sure it is. Yeah. That's cows. Anyway, so we've got cows and chickens here. Again, another farm, so we've got more bunk silos. Let's open up the help menu. There, there is no short, no shortage of bunker silos around this map. Close that back down again. Uh, slurry pit, cow barn pasture is just in there. The chickens, I think, are tucked around over here. There we go. The chickens are there. Buy point for the chickens is that's a very good point. Oh, there we go. Just inside there. I, like I say, I won't do this to every single one. And I'm pretty sure they've probably got a workshop. <gasps> Hang on. Don't do this to me. I promised everyone a workshop. Yes. <sighs> there is one. Right. Continuing. Right, I'm trying to look at my map, bottom left, where am I going from here? Right, let's go... Oh, I don't know, let's go through the yard. Like I say, it is, it's fairly packed in, in the actual village bits, where the little towns are and everything. It does get a little bit condensed. Ah, right, here we are, I know where we are now. So, Animal Dealer, we're coming up on just here. So this is the Animal Dealer, just here. Click on that. So we've got our animal dealership. 
and that runs right the way across to here so you've got plenty of space for bringing in vehicles for loading or unloading should you want to continuing west it, like I say it is all very tightly packed we have got cell point here actually around the other side for wood chips which is just there that's your wood chip cell point we've also got just there it's just so this is kind of your sawmill for all intents and purposes just there um, but it does say on the uh, the payment page that this one which is Heiswerk Oberella Bach this one will take um, silage straw and hay as well apparently um, so right that's all of the kind of main stuff we did Ledl, we did Emma Strickland and we did that farm we've done this farm this farm we've done all that by Hamel so now we're heading out to Agri LB that there's two animal dealers there then we'll head all the way up there to Mula Agra which is pretty much the last of the cell points and that's another one of the main cell points and then we've got these two farms over here which I'm not going to drive over to they're quite a long way over needless to say they've got a workshop one does pigs and chickens the other one does the sheep and they've got a sheep pasture out here it's kind of on a hillside it's a lovely little bit of ground worth having a look and then we'll also I'll show you the store as well because the store needs to be um you need to know where the store is it's important um, the reset point is the store so if you make a mistake if you tip something over if you get it stuck and you need to reset it resets back to the store up the hill and away now what I always used to do when I used to do map tours was also show uh, where you could get free water from um, which water sources were free often you have a pond or a river or a lake there may well be points like that on maps and you might find them as you're going around you might try with something and say oh actually I can get free water from here generally speaking I don't anymore because of the placeable mods available and there are quite a few now where you can get water from and various different ones now where you place them fairly cheaply as well and the water is completely free it almost becomes a moot point there doesn't seem much point in actually showing it anymore because you know you can get free water fairly easily um, right so we are at Agri LB uh, the cell point is just around the back we'll have a look at it in a second we've got a fuel point there and we have a lime by point just there cell point is just here I am incredibly taken aback by the detail I, it is, there is so much going on ah, I didn't look Whoa, that was close and to be fair the other two farms that I said I was going to have a look at are just off to the left here I love the way that sweeps off down across there I, I don't know there's something incredibly it's weird because I'm English <laughs> but there's something incredibly familiar about it it just has a nice I suppose because it feels very natural but we won't go into all the detail of these um, needless to say we've got another cow and chicken farm just there can be a dairy if you want it to be a dairy if you're playing on the base game dairy if you're playing with seasons on it this is a seasons ready map and um, then obviously you can run dairy or meat that's entirely up to you and then we've got another one just up here with the chickens and another cow barn and another workshop all up here there's no shortage of barn space and to be fair like I say to buy the the farms themselves it's not that expensive you know you could decide you're going to run a farm estate rather than just a farm and you know own a whole load of them or you could be that tycoon that owns a farm and you want to gradually work your way across the map buying up all the little farmsteads or you know I don't know what however you want to go about it it's entirely up to you right we're going to come out of here and we're going to head left 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 so we are still heading west and now we're going to turn and we're going to head north up to the final cell point it's quite a lot tightly packed in that kind of southern part of the map kind of more southeastern and, um, and then as we come out uh, more northwest it kind of opens out into the countryside now whilst if you look on the little mini map down the bottom it shows past field 8 all those that those trees and woodland that's not accessible um, that's just the outer edges of the map and if you look 
we'll have one quick look back onto the map if I highlight that the dark area here is all the stuff that you can actually get to and buy these bits of woodland you can purchase if you want to and again they're not too expensive but there are some patches of woodland around the map which are light you can't purchase those it won't let you um, so there are a few of those dotted around. All of these around the outside, that is just map edge. You can't actually get onto any of that. So that's just off off to the side. So we are heading towards the last sale point and then we'll head round to the uh to the store. I mean potentially this will get an update, I don't know. It may well get an update and then the store may appear on there, but if it doesn't at least you'll know where it is. Now this one's an interesting one. Now this is a this is a sell point. This is uh, the Mueller sell point. Well, the sell point is just here, but at this sell point we've also got some buy points. Just around here, we can buy fertilizer. We can buy lime. We can buy fuel. Just there, fertilizer, lime, and fuel. We come around to here, and we can buy a whole load of other stuff. Actually, I wonder if it will do it in the back of the pickup. Potentially, will it do it for me? Let's have a look. No, it won't. Ah, I should have brought a trailer up with me. Now, that's not an all crop. You can't buy everything, but you can buy a lot of stuff. You can buy straw, you can buy pig food, you can buy a few different crop types, you can buy total mixed ration from there. Um, so it is a buy point as well. So this one here, and we are now up here at Mueller Agra. So we are in this kind of northwest part of the map is a buy points too for various different things and because all the actual points are right on top of each other it only shows as one disc so when you look at the map initially you can't really tell right moving on I think as well what I, what I fascinates me is looking at the little mini map down the bottom this bit of road here, I'm just going to go past these cars. Oh, I thought I was going to get past. Just about. Um, it's that kind of, not nonsensical, but you can imagine over time as the roads were built and they were built around people's field edges and that kind of stuff, that realistically, if you were making a map yourself, would you put this little loop in that comes back round and pretty much you just pass the bit where you just were? You'd probably put yourself a little bit in there. But that's what I like about this, because it just, it's there and... It it feels. I mean, I, I I could be doing the modder a disservice here, and that this I know it is, is Bavarian and it's based in southern uh, Germany. I don't think it's based upon like it's an actual real. I mean, the towns may well be, but what I mean is a, it's not like a a Google Maps type that they've just taken the entire place and recreated it. I could be wrong, and I, I apologise if I am. So just here just above field 32 I think it is I think it's field 32 this is the store that's not marked on the map the secret store like so round the back whoa, that went a bit weird round the back here we've got our configuration sell point repair point just there and if you reset anything, it resets back to here. So we are, at the moment, here, just above field 32. So this little bit here is your store. Um, so I'm not quite sure why it's not marked on the map. But just in case you worried or wondered or didn't know, you might have found it already. Um, like I said yesterday when I did the mod review, I wouldn't get this done until today um i just didn't have the time last night to get it done so that's why it's being posted today but so you may have already been playing on it you may have already found this um and that's kind of where i'm going to stop like i say we could oh you know what let's just drive let's just drive past where the sheep are we haven't got to go in it's nice to do a bit of a drive by Oh, I think I just witnessed an accident. I will overtake these guys here. Very, very cool. Very, very nice map. 
as I've said a couple of times, maybe more than a couple of times, it does have its drawbacks. But then you ask yourself, if I can swing it, can you kind of make it worthwhile? You can, you can kind of do it. So just up here, there's a little pasture just there. That's where your sheep go, into that little pasture there. The sheep farm is just up there on the hill. There are no chickens with that one, that is just sheep. And that, I think, is where we're going to end it. I hope you found this useful and informative. We haven't got around the whole map, but I hope you got a kind of feel for the, the sort of layout and where the cell points are and how busy it is and how much is going on. Um, if you have, in some way, shape or form, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, thanks for watching.